Hello everyone, welcome back to another ROM review. Today I am taking a look at the Slim Bean ROM for the AT&T Galaxy Note. Come back, we'll take a look at it. Alright, let's fire this up here. <clears throat> So like I said, this is Slim Bean, and this is version 2.4.0. It is brought to us by the gentleman Manel Scout for Life, and he is also the guy that brought us the wonderful ROM Liquid, also for the Galaxy Note. This is indeed a Jelly Bean ROM, as you can see here. We have the cool Jelly Bean lock screen. Now we have two launchers available for us. So we'll take a look at this one here first. And this is a fresh flash. Now I wiped data to get back to the beginning here to show you guys. I've actually been using this one all weekend long and I really like it it's pretty cool uh, there's a couple little bugs a couple little issues that we'll talk about but overall I really like it uh, one thing the main thing really about this ROM is it's very slim down uh, Manel Scout for Life he took out a bunch of stuff some of which are voice aspects Google Now um, the secondary email client a lot of different things. Check out the thread on XDA to get a list, full list of all the stuff that has been removed and also where to grab it. Now you notice uh, one of the first things you will find about this, which is true about 99% of the Jelly Bean ROMs out there right now, is that even though the sound is enabled, um, screen taps are enabled, none of them, you don't hear anything. So, easiest way to fix that when you first flash a ROM is to just hit your volume up and down a couple times, and now they are going now. You can hear them. So that's the easiest way to take care of that little problem. You see, just like most of our Jelly Bean ROMs now, they everything flies in nice and quick. It's super smooth. Let's take a look at the other launcher here. Do that, and we'll do this one in here, right there, and we're good. So I have already installed, like I said, I was using this all weekend. I installed the extra email client. Uh, I installed Google Now. It's really easy to do that. So a few little issues, like I was saying. Um, one big thing that I noticed towards the end of the weekend is the screen flicker got really bad. Uh, at one point, my screen, just sitting on the home screen, kind of looked like a uh, strobe light show was going on. So you see some music is not playing in the music player here. There you can see the screen flickering a little bit there. Uh, so this is 4.1.1 this is running the Cyanogen Mod kernel. Uh, if you want to overclock, you can add the Flapjacks kernel. A 
But main thing is, it's looking really good. It's a great start to a new ROM. Uh, I love the slim down style. If you don't want the extra stuff, the extra crap like email, you don't need the secondary email client, you don't care about Google Now, you don't need any of that stuff and it's going to make the ROM so much lighter. Well that is it guys, a quick look at Slim Bean for the Galaxy Note on AT&T. Hope you enjoy that review. Don't forget to check us out mobiletechvideos.com for all your mobile device needs. You can follow us on Twitter and like us on Facebook as well. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Trying to bring out more content on a regular basis. And be sure to let us know if you need anything. This is Sam guys, I'll see you next time.